Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are starting the framework section and before the detailed explanation of the automation framework using Selenium Python, let's first understand what exactly is test automation framework. This is very commonly asked interview question. So please go through the details that I'm explaining here. So if we talk about in general framework, the dictionary meaning of a framework is essential supporting structure of a building vehicle or an object right so anyone who talks about a framework it's a supporting structure to build something on top of it right similar is true with the test automation framework test automation framework is nothing different as in general the definition of framework is when we talk about test automation framework it is a framework for supporting the structure or it's a supporting structure and set of guidelines which are used for creating and designing your test cases or automated test cases or scripts. So when we say test automation framework, there is a predefined layer or the structure that you defined initially before you go ahead and start writing the test cases so that your test cases are more maintainable. They are easy to manage, right? So those are some of the advantages. Now, test automation is not just a tool or it's not a combination of tool it's basically a combination of tools and practices so when we talk about the test automation framework tool is one aspect of it then the practices that everyone needs to follow within the team is another aspect of the test automation framework that shouldn't be forgot so we every every team should be maintaining that core practices that everyone within the team say for example new person joins or joins in or any existing people who are working what are they going to follow as part of that particular process right so it's it's not just the tools it's the combination of tools and practices so tools we are going to learn in this particular series anyways and along with the tools will also understand the practices that need to be followed as part of the test automation framework. Now, some of the practices that could be followed as part of the test automation framework is similar to what dev standards are. So like coding standards that team has to follow, how you are going to handle the test data in your project, whether the test data will come from the Excel file or the CSV file or any other type of file ex from external sources, or it will come directly from the databases. All those things need to be defined or predefined before you actually go ahead and start writing your test cases. Then how you are going to store your objects, right? So the UI objects, how you are going to store it, how you are going to store the test results, what report you are going to use, how you are going to send the test results to the wider stakeholders all those things come into the practice then how external libraries can be used so what is the process to get the external libraries okay so all of these practices can be part of the test automation framework now when it comes to the benefits there are lots and lots of benefits of the test automation framework and I'll explain you step by step when you do not follow the framework how the code will look and the same code will go ahead and convert it into the test automation framework and then use the test cases after we have converted into the test automation framework or we have created test automation framework the same test will look a lot better more maintainable and much more uh, easy for the team to pick up and go ahead and work so benefits it saves a lot of time so test automation framework saves a lot of time because you have reusable components that you do not have to write again and again in your test cases right so it saves time it ensures that best practices are followed cost of maintenance is very low because you are not hard coding any of the data within your test cases so say for example your test case have hard coded values within the test cases and you have 500 test cases and something changes in the locator then are you going to change the locators in 500 test cases that's the biggest biggest challenge right so we'll remove all of the hard coding all of the data that is there within the test cases and make it more maintainable so when we follow the approach of the test automation framework we'll have the code more maintainable the cost will be low and code reusability is another very important benefit so these are some of the benefits of having test automation framework go ahead with this particular slide this is very important in terms of automation understand what framework is in very very simple terms do not try to complicate things 
everyone wants to understand framework or test automation framework in simple terms right so it's just a supporting structure comprises of tools and practices okay so that's what the test automation framework is now let's go ahead and see what framework we are going to implement as part of this selenium python series so as part of this series we are going to create a hybrid framework with page object model and page object design pattern is very very widely used for test automation so that's what we are going to follow along with the hybrid approach so it's not just page object uh, design pattern but we'll have the external data file which will be csv or excel file we'll try to read those files and do the data driven testing so it will be a hybrid framework which you can easily go ahead and use in your actual projects in your organizations right so we'll learn all of it and if we talk about the basic framework structure that generally you will follow whether you are you know using java or python it doesn't matter but this is the basic package structure folder structure that you will follow right so this is the tool part of it it's basically the structure part of it and then this structure contains certain tools and then practices will go will understand as we go along so there will be a base package which will contain all the common modules or the libraries then we have the we are following page object design pattern so we'll have the pages utilities test cases will have the test cases that we'll write utilities will have all the utilities for example we are we want to take screenshots so we'll define all of those screenshot methods into the utilities package and reuse those then config file will con contain all the configurations test data will have all the test data segregated so we are not going to mix up test data within the test cases we are not going to make mix up utilities within the test cases right so we are segregating all of the things so that everything is manageable properly then we will store screenshots in a separate directory we will store reports in a separate directory so that when somebody comes in and looks at this particular framework they can easily grasp it and it is very very easily maintainable for them and easy to work with this particular framework so this is a very basic structure and this is sort of common structure that it doesn't matter which programming language you are using if you are designing test automation framework you will be some you will be using something very similar to what is displayed on my screen there might be some additions and removals according to the nature of the project but this is this is the common standard that uh, most of the time if you are doing the hybrid framework you will be using so that's all for the introductory part of the test automation framework and automation framework structure in the next tutorial i'll walk you through one of the sample test cases and then we'll start converting that particular sample test cases into a framework and start working with the framework design i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching